Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today we'll be creating this character in Lightwave. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and we'll see you on the other side. First up, we'll start by dragging our image and dropping it into Lightwave. Push D on the keyboard, backdrops, and I'll go to the bottom left and the bottom right and select my image, change the size to 5. I'll adjust the horizontal and vertical measurements just to fit my object right. Okay, this looks good. So I'll start from here. I'll get a box and I'll create a box. I'll go to the image editor and I'll adjust the brightness of my image, bring it down. And in cases where, in case I close the program and I want to come and get my backdrop again i'll go back push d go back to backdrops and save your backdrops i'll name them something like this and okay so i'm done okay coming back here i'll delete one side of this box i'll push v on the keyboard to center my points I will mirror them by pushing shift V on the keyboard and pushing N for numeric. I'll turn on the symmetry option. I'll just start extruding my points like this. Here, I will make sure I select these points and I'll weld them control W on the keyboard. At this point, I can actually save my object. I want just some points just a bit to something that I feel suits me. I'll grab these four edges, extrude them, E on the keyboard. I'll extrude these ones again on the middle. Just adjust them a bit. I'll continue extruding. While extruding, keep in mind which edges will go for the eyes. So I want this to be for my eyes and I'll extrude them, push them out. Let me just adjust this one. Then I'll continue extruding going around the eye and I'll be rotating Y to rotate. I want to drag the ones on top again. So I'll select this. These two points are weld control W and I'll continue extruding like so till they meet on the other side and once we are here i'll select the points and weld them at this point i can just adjust a few points Control t on the keyboard Okay, I'll continue extruding down here and welding at the same time. Extrude here as well. And weld. I'll come under the mouth and extrude these edges as well. Remember to adjust your points because it's a very good idea. I'll select all these here and extrude. I'll stop right here at the edge of the face and I'll adjust a bit of these. I 
I'll extrude down here again. I'll select this point and this one, Control W and weld them. Then I'll just adjust them following the shape of the face. At this point, I'll go to the right side and I start moving the points one by one following the structure of the face. I'm selecting them, pushing T on the keyboard and moving them on the right side. So this is a bit tricky because you don't know exactly where the point has to be, but you just have to, you just have to guess sometimes, you know, it's not very easy, I know, but that's, that's the way. And finally, the last point. So at this point, just adjust your points. You don't know exactly how they're supposed to look like, but you just have to make sure they're in a certain order, they look straight. Push tab on the keyboard to see the smooth version of your object. Okay, I'll, I'll select some of these points and drag them down just a bit and I'll adjust some of these. For the chin, I'll start extruding from here, going all the way back to the neck. I'll stretch this here just to make it straight. I'll select this and extrude. I'll change this to texture wired so that I can see my lines. I'll weld this too. I'll weld this too. I'll 
I'll select these edges and extrude. Move them out like this. And then I will start selecting these points and weld. Control W. Now to adjust some of these points. So if I push tab on the keyboard, a smooth version of the face. I will adjust some of these. Okay, so we'll be ending here for this video. Just make sure to catch part two. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and let's go to part two.